like everything is ready. Recently, I had the pleasure and honor to meet wonderful person, incredibly talented classical pianist Soline Hatian. And she kindly agreed to cook with me in my kitchen. She shared one of her mom's recipe. It's a simple zucchini and ground beef dish served with a side of rice and salad or bulgur with. Uh, today I'll make the dish, but I'll serve it with brown basmati rice. No big difference. Most importantly, it's amazingly flavorful and simple, delicious dish. What we need? Of course, it's zucchini and ground beef. Those are main ingredients. We'll use onions, garlic. We'll spice it with ground black pepper, jalapeno pepper, all spice, salt is a must, some dry mint and crushed uh, tomatoes. Crushed tomatoes, she used butter. I'll prefer to go with oil to make it a bit more lighter. What else? And I'll start cooking the rice as soon as I get this started here. And we're gonna start by browning the, mm, the beef. I'll use very small amount, I'm making very small portion, I'm the only one who will be enjoying this delicious food. Anyway, so I have preheated my skillet, I'll start with slightly browning the rice. And while that's browning, I'll chop my onions very finely. Simply wash it a few times until the water is clear. Add enough water to cover the rice and even a little bit more. You want to have plenty of water to cook the rice. So I'll do that and then add the salt. As soon as it's cooked, I'll be checking once in a while. I'll drain extra water and show you the rice. The meat is starting to brown and you don't want to brown it without onions. So I'll add the onions and continue cooking and slightly browning. While this is cooking, keep an eye of course. Let me add just a little bit of salt for now. Just like so. And then I'm gonna keep an eye on this and start cooking the zucchini into small or large cubes. Doesn't really matter the size. The size doesn't really matter. Now when I'm looking at the fat that came out from the meat, I don't want to add any oil. I don't know why. We'll make it less oily with less fat. So I'll add the, the tomatoes crushed tomatoes and I want to rinse the pan. What happened? He wants to mix. Okay, I'll add this. Cook a few more minutes, like two to three minutes. You want to mix? It's hot. Just be careful, okay? He was born to mix, yes. Okay. Let's not mix it. All done. Thank you. Okay, so I'll cook this a few more minutes. Add my zucchini, spice it up. And let it cook over medium to low heat until the zucchini is slightly tender. Good job. Now he's doing very slowly. How oh, please. And I have to add the red pepper paste. It gives an amazing color to any kind of dish that has tomato base. Okay, so that's that. I'll stir this quickly and keep an eye on my rice. Actually, I want to salt the, the rice. Okay, this is starting to boil. Okay, I'll let that sit and I'll spice this already. And why not? I'll go ahead and add my zucchini or oh, garlic. One clove of garlic, go to your taste. I'll put, I'll put down a precise recipe on my blog at heavenly.com. Just as usual. So this will go in there. Yes. And I'll add the zucchini. Mm -hmm. 
for spices just as usual go to your taste I have the allspice about half a teaspoon full or so black pepper third of a teaspoon can you stop playing with that noisy thingy Aleppo pepper is a must spice for this dish because this the dish is originally from Halep, Lebanon and a little bit of mint. Spice guys. Spice. You just need strawberries? Just strawberries, yes. How many? A box. One box? Or two boxes, one for you, one for me. <laughs> I'm making something, I'm not eating two boxes. It's okay. I'll cover this halfway and keep an eye stir once in a while. Check on the spices and the uh, zucchini, whether it's slightly tender. If you like it um, a little bit crispier side, you don't have to overcook. So, to your taste. Okay, medium to low heat. She also made simple green salad. I have um, lettuce, romaine lettuce, cucumber, a couple of cherry tomatoes, scallions. I also have some fresh dill. Basically any vegetable salad will go just perfect with this kind of dish. So I'll go ahead, quickly chop everything and wait. I'm not gonna add oil and salt as of yet. And wait until this two flavorful uh, dishes are ready. I can smell the basmati rice. It's almost... Mm, it's almost ready. I need some salt. A few more minutes. salad I'll be using extra virgin olive oil and for the rice I'm melting a little bit of butter with some grapeseed oil just a little bit of oil she made it with butter it tastes amazing with butter uh, jasmine or any kind of rice but I'll go with a lighter version because my daughter prefers <laughs> to eat slightly lighter version of everything. By the way, for vegans, vegetarians, you can substitute, I forgot to mix this. You can substitute uh, the beef with mushrooms or um, eggplants, if you like mushrooms or eggplants. Okay, this is almost getting ready, smells amazing. So, so good. Mm -hmm. A few more minutes. Let me check the zucchini. It, it's almost ready. Actually, I'm gonna turn this down on the one, on the one, on the minimum heat. Cover it and for a minute forget about it. I will transfer this here and strain the water. over melted butter and oil, reduce the heat to the minimum, cover the lid and let the bottom of the uh, rice to slightly brown or get golden color. Okay, and let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Continue chopping up my herbs. I have dill and fresh meat. Almost done. Okay, let's see if this is gonna turn out properly. And you don't have to do it this way, but let's try. Let's see. It's okay. 
Okay, some of it survived. Let's see. Just a little bit on this side, make it look very nice and perfect. So that no one guesses you you failed turning upside down your rice. Basmati has this um, very fine quality. It may not always turn out this perfect, especially brown basmati. With jasmine rice or white basmati, you'll be more successful. Okay, guys, can you be a little bit quiet? Okay, so this will be here. I'll add my olive oil, salt, pepper, and lemon. How could I forget the lemon? And basically, our dinner is ready. Liv, you can have the salad and rice. Oh, you wanna mix? Of course. You got it. Okay, you mix. Wait, wait. Melon. Melon? It's lemon. Okay. Let's mix mix. You do your job. I'll squeeze my lemon. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can squeeze it. You wanna squeeze it? I can squeeze it. Okay, squeeze it. Not on your hand. <laughs> on the salad. Oh, I, I missed the seed. It's okay, I'll find it later. Okay, let's squeeze it in the salad, okay? Yeah. He's trying to squeeze it in his hand. <laughs> Perfect. Now you mix it, okay? I squeeze, you mix. Okay, so you mix it. I'll place this in a nicer platter and look how delicious it looks. Yeah, it's a salad. Yeah, wait one minute. Okay, you can arrange it in a nicer platter, make it look even more appetizing and beautiful as a dish. But since we have little children who are interested in destroying your things. <laughs> okay, one minute. We're almost done. Neil, you want some salad and rice? You always Instagram your food. I always post, by the way, coming soon uh, live stories on my Instagram. My Instagram link down below this video. That's not important. Most important part is to taste this amazingly delicious food. Fresh parsley on top is always a good idea. On top of <laughs> everything. Okay, I hope you can see how delicious and appetizing this looks. A little bit of rice. And my salad. I'll save the rest of ri the rice and salad for Lilith. She's in love with this with this rice and salad combination. Okay, now about the food. Let's taste it. You grab a little bit of that zucchini and beef mix. Okay, okay, hold on. So delicious, so juicy, combines so well with rice and everything. One more bite of salad and that's it. Mm. That's it for now. I'm gonna be enjoying this quietly outside. I have to download a quick recipe on my blog at heavenly.com. I wanna thank again Thank you so much for this recipe and I can't wait till we make that um, those delicious cookies you brought me for Easter. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon. Mm. So delicious.